Hello everybody and welcome back to Frambo. I'm sorry about the sound in the late last episode. I, I hope I could fix that by now. And let's continue. I, I will go inside out. I just wanna take a look. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff. Alright, let's ask him. No, no, um, you can't get in. It's closed and stuff. Oh, closed? I didn't know. What's behind the passage? Well, the library, of course, but it's closed for you. Come back uh, in the fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, uh, aren't you the talking tree I, I took to see Palandros? Uh, yeah, that's me. Palandros gave me arms and legs. Yes, yes, and also a head, apparently. It's very positive. <laughs> yeah, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic for you. As the sun goes around, the second moon of Ithesta will open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned, and that only happens in fall or winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you are in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. We learn now. Did you like to ask many questions, for example? Well, I I am curious. That's why everything looks so different here in Ithasta, you know? I guess you are not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yeah, thank you, sir. Bye. He's actually looking awesome. Okay, Mr. Midnight, you ready? Go! Blah! Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Let's skedaddle. Hmm. The flag is waving very, waving very hard. Hello to you. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Um, do you know where the mountain Katram is? Yes. Where is it? Can you tell me? Yes. You can only tell you, say yes or no, right? Uh, well, tell me, please. Hmm. The mountain Cartram is only in the winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm. Of course, winter time. What do you think? I think that this is bullshit. I can't wait until that. Oh. You don't wait for it. You go there. Go? How? Uh, sorry, but I'm not good at... I'm no good explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. You tried with me before. Okay, bye. Stupid shit can't even tell me how to... I mean, he said straight, but... Oh yeah, we can't read. <coughs> e T H Oh I sorry <laughs> that's E in Hungarian I C H E R S T A I mean T does match Yeah it must be Thursday <laughs> So that's where we had our surgery and that's the palace so if we need to go to the mountain we have to take that direction here yeah it also says this is gorgeous okay do I want to oh shit 
This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Oh, it sounds like something broke. Hmm. Looks like there will be a lot to do in this game. Yeah, let's go see the clockmaster. I I feel we need guidance. This is so beautiful. Oh, what a tiny shop. And it smells really funny. What about this? Good! Thread and cloth ma to make stuff. Oh, we can talk to these too, okay. Hello! I'm Fran, what are you doing? Um, I don't... I'm, I'm starting to... Uh, losing all the ideas for voices. <laughs> <coughs> Good day! I'm Pruder and I'm molding the pairs of iron! Um, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker! Oh, I see. So you can do all kind of metal stuff? Sure! If you have some ideas, we can talk about them and PADAM! I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. But if you need my services, you know where I am. You're kind. Hello. Ah, uh, who is there? Who? Uh, me, friend. Are you blind? Oh, no. I see a little. You have four eyes. Whoa. Four eyes? I don't have... Eh, whatever. What are you selling anyways? Only the very best blubbers of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? I mean... Those are cockroaches or blubbers or what the fuck. It's poo, miss! Poo that I collect. It's perfectly normal, not a disgusting fetish or anything. Poo? Like, like in the toilet? Uh, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything go grow and shine. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> I, you know, I I think I forgot the pea teapot on the stove. So um, I'm I'm just gonna skedaddle. So bye. Yeah. Holy shit, that was terrifying. Okay. Good ratings. Oh, that's the same with the doctor. Mm, I don't know what was what was his voice when we encountered him. I don't remember. Hmm. Greetings. Are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. And that's the same with the library guy. Fuck. Um. Out of curiosity, uh, m Miss, is that it? Uh, okay. So, uh, anyway. Um, what purpose do you use fabric? I mean, come on, look around, it's like everybody is naked. This is, this is, this is a nudist land, okay? Alright, this is fucking disgusting. People eat poo here and don't wear clothes, and yet they have fabric and, and, and the blacksmith and that sort of things. Bill, what, whatever you need it for, we also have thread for making other things. I see. Um. Hmm. All right. I have to go, Miss. Have a nice day. Holy shit! You look like a clockmaster. Hello. What are you doing? Working on my clock. Uh. Okay. Well. Yeah. Where do I start, sir? Um, do you know where I can find the Grand Wizard and stuff? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. This is horrifying, actually. Okay. Um, do you know where the Mountain Cutter is by any chance? 
the mountain cut from only exists in winter time, otherwise it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in mountain cutter. You don't need to wait for the winter to come. That's absurd. Time is infinitely layered reality. <coughs> uh oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. Where do I start then? change the season just change it I mean we discovered but yeah okay what clock well go towards the castle but turn to your left when you see the stairs you'll find a big clock on the tree good luck but I already saw the clock and it was broken a broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I, I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you want? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Dime is money, you know. I don't have any coins. Mm, then no clock will ever be fixed. Uh, how can I get a golden coin? Look, there is a snail that loves to give away coins. Talk to him. Oh, that is great. Thank you for nothing, you piece of shit. Bye. I want to talk to the Ant-Man too. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Or would you like to read the newspaper? Mm, I can't read in the... Uh, <coughs> uh, what is in... Ethersta language called. Don't you know? It's called Italian. Are you a tourist? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am a tourist. Let's, let's say that. Yeah, that they should buy it. Yes. Okay. Um, I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen friend either. Welcome to Ethersta. I hope you will have fun here. Thank you so much. I, however, have to go now. There's still more here. Hello, little Root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute too. <laughs> I'm Fran. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma. And I want to sing all day long. <laughs> What's your favorite song then? My favorite song goes like this. Chinese dick. I want some Chinese dick. Okay, one and one, one and one, two and one, two and three, two and three are five, and three and five are eight, and I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that is not fun whatsoever, but have fun with it. I have to go. And I hope I don't have to talk to you ever again. Bye. Um, he builds the boats. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. What the fuck is good about it? I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about it uh, floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. Simple. Hmm. Could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, home, I see. Sadly, these boats are working in this place. Oh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Friend is so lovely. Tiny figures, black and white. Do we have to beat him in chess? Hello.
What are you doing? The war is about to start. I can't save any of the manacles. Mmm... I mean... What the fuck? Join me, young one. You'll be awarded with a golden coin if you come allow back alive. I don't think I think so. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are a colonist. I am the Malakas. Black and white. A sort of light. Oh! Oh! It's a board game! Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's amass this adventure. You against me. I'll give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Yeah, sure. What are the rules? First plus three of the same figures in diagonal, horizontal, vertical, and wins. Okay. What does the machinery and seal begins? Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play in a school called Tic Tac Toe. But why would you just give me a gold coin if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. Oh, I see. Well, let's play then. Okay, so... Looks like I'm fucking stupid. I could have just clicked it. Where... Where... Oh, I, I forgot the voice completely. What are you doing? Well, look, I'm sure you are a master. Bye. Yo, man. I, I have shit ton of gold. Sir, I have a little problem. Yes, I don't have any, but go on. The big cock, I mean the big clock on the tree is broken. I can make it work. Please, help me. A broken clock. What a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me, I beg you. I have to go home. I never... We have, we've been here. <coughs> Yes, we know. Here, sir, your golden coin. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first, right? Do it and be polite. Yeah. Be the repairman! Oh, uh, <clears throat> sir, clockmaster. Master of all the clocks. And and time. Would you be so nice and fix my giant clock in exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of uh, time I beg you accept my offer. Of course. That was an incredible job for very passionate. Great! Let's go to the big clock and fix it. Ooh, you are tiny. And kind of funny to see how you walk, you know. So, we we will be dancing around while you work, okay? Are you done? But you can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Whoops! Yes. Oh, there. What is it? What do you mean? I mean somebody broke it. It's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock. Urgh. Why would somebody break it? Kamalas. Winter. Mountain cut from the stones. Many reasons. 
Yes, yes. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Camelot, the evil darkness, they work forever. The trap, terrible black. And Camelot are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Remar wants the stones. But what I don't understand is for what purpose. Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Rimmer a giant black monster with a goat mask? A, a dead. A, a very specific dead goat mask? Yes, you know him. Yeah, uh, I, I think it's because of him I'm I'm in this land. I'm. Uh, I shouldn't tell you this probably, but I'm human now. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. <laughs> that is why you need to go into winter time and go to Mountain Cotrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the great wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you here. It's a remote control for the clock. I love this! This is going to be a fantastic game mechanism. <coughs> oh, it's not here yet. You will be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn, but it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you are too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality. Be careful. I'll be careful, thank you very much. You are a very nice clockmaster guy. And you're going to make a special lady a very, very happy Mrs. Clockmaker guy. Please call me Cogwind. Alright, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. You see, see you soon. Bye, have a nice day. Oh, what an ugly creature. Alright then. Let's change it to... Winter, shall we? I'm not sure which direction we need. Oh, a ladder. I don't have any need to climb the ladder. Yeah, but I thought we should check it out, you know. It shows a mountain! I chose the correct path. I remember the... The map sort of thing, sorry. My voice is kind of weird. Let's check the cave. What should go wrong? Uh, you look like a wizard to me. Sup, man? Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Are you? Because if you are, then we need to talk. Excuse me, can you talk at all? <clears throat> I was about to have the same exact fucking voices for every creature in this land for some reason. I don't know why. I I really need a wizard wizardy. Wizardy. A wizardy song. You have too many questions. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, sorry, sir. 
The king told me you could help me. What the king says we do! That's a relief because he fucking said that you better help me or he's going to kill you. Um, I need to lend me the stones to open the door to my world. The stones are missing and I... I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Everybody, you know, every time I hide, I forget. So they can be found. Oh, I see. But maybe I can help you to find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? Well, you know, it's like with the bees and the flowers. The bees flies on the fly. Anyhow, I, I'm really sure I'm not the one that should explain this to you, sir. I saw it was a human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, there is no nothing. I wonder again how? Sir, why don't you ask the... Yeah, uh, you know the magician who did this? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? That means me. Just so you know. Good day, sir. Again. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones? Ah, oh, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for those. I made the first fantastic most... Oh no, I fucked it up! So he made some sort of spell. You know, the black shadows. The cameras. They try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. But sir, I need the stones. This is not my home. Huh? The stones are hiding. I only remember the, fo the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all the four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find the items. These items are the stones in their layer in reality. Then the only one who can bring them back is me. Yeah, tell me the riddles. I see. Well, tell me the riddles. There is no time to lose. Let me show you. <laughs> this is the star of Ithasta. Omkabe, the greatest guide of the sky. The greatest caretaker of this land. Yeah, friend asks too much irrelevant questions. Oh, wow, that sounds great. I give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one of item. Place the items of the star of the star on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stars are. Okie dokie. Thank you so much, Sir Wizard. Oh, Sir Wizard, the king told me that you can make me human again. Did he? Uh, I think that's true. I better remember how to do it, though. You don't remember? But I can't go home like a tree. I understand. But I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you human again after we find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great! Just try to figure out the riddles and I guess everything will be fine. Sir? Do I need something special to become a human? Uh, I think the smell is very important, if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes, so I can jerk off to them. Alright sir, I will bring you my clothes later. Finally, get me the riddles. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. 
some sort of tree? I'm shiny as the sun, but I will never burn you. Perhaps a sore smile, I get you. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Light and hollow, I'm freedom. Of birds and pen on man. Alright, I'm losing my voice. So this will be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. I hope we'll meet in the next episode. Goodbye.